hey what's up guys welcome to another video on salesforce bolt so guys in today's video we'll be talking about the iteration the loops so in today's video we'll be creating an iteration in which you will be able to add a special behavior when the iteration start or ends so let's say for example if you are displaying a list and if you would like to add some special behavior on the first row on the first row or the last row then you can use this functionality maybe you don't need it right now but i mean whenever you will need it and if you will find this video you will thank me later okay so let's start this video uh, so in today's video guys i'm already having a list in my org let me show you and sorry for the background noises you are going to heard because uh, i'm recording this video on daytime today usually i record videos at night time because night time it is quite silent but unfortunately i am late okay so this is a normal list guys and uh, let me show you the code as well so this is my basic lightning web component in which i am just displaying a list there's nothing special in it and i'm using the normal like for each loop to iterate the record okay but guys here if i want to add some special behavior on the first row let's say if i would like to change the background color of the row or maybe if i would like to hide the row or it could be it could be any it could be anything okay so we cannot do it in this for each loop okay we have to perform some additional actions i mean uh, let's say if you are having a list then maybe you can pass some parameters to check the index like if it is the first row I mean you can check it by zero index and if it is the last row you can always check it using the size of that list but I mean that required a little bit of coding part okay but in LWC we are already having a solution for that so let's say uh, what should we change in this list okay so guys uh, in this list we are having this hr hor horizontal uh, line here okay so now we will try to hide this horizontal line from the last row okay because like this line is working as a separator and of course i think we don't need it on the last row so using the template iterator we will try to add the special behavior on the last row of this uh, list okay so the code is very simple guys so let me uh, do it side by side i will be keeping this template for each loop and underneath that i will be creating a template iterator with the same functionality okay so for that let's copy it first and let's add some border here so we can just identify so let's give it one pixel solid red so this will be our template one okay the template for each and underneath that i have added another one and let's make the border blue okay push it to the arc okay awesome now let's try to reload the functionality cool so we are having two similar list here both of them are having template for each loop here now in the second list we will try to add template iteration instead of the for each okay so to add the iteration guys the functionality is pretty similar so here instead of for each like in for each we can do like for each the data then the item the data item so in iteration what you can do is you can just type iterator okay and after that you can type the variable name like for account it could be acc for contact it could be con like for this example let me just do it iterator it okay now guys uh, the values uh, you have to change the way uh, through which you are getting the values you cannot just use it the simple like account.id okay and let me remove this for item first okay now guys in this iterator also you need the key value but the key value like uh, usually we are get we were getting like account.id because we were having the for each loop but if you are having the iterator then you have to use the 
iterators uh, parameter name like in our case it is it it okay then you have to do dot value okay so instead of this we will just do it it dot value dot id okay and it will be same as everywhere so let me just quickly update it here here as well okay so i have updated it and let me just push it again so guys the functionality is pretty similar so on the ui end you will not notice any different right now because we have not added any special behavior so for user it will be pretty similar see the functionality the list it is absolutely similar to each other okay now uh, as per our requirement, I will be adding the special behavior to this last row and I will be hiding this uh, HR from here. Okay. So guys, to hide the, I mean, to add the special behavior, you can simply use it like this. You can create another, um, let's say, div tag template tag. Okay. And in that div tag, you have to use like if true, like we use in template. Okay. So you can simply do it if. If it is the last row, then I have to add the special behavior. So if true, then we can do it like this in the parameter name, which is it dot last and the same way we can have the first as well. Okay. So if it is last, then close the div and then whatever you will do inside this div tag, it will be available only for last row. So let's say if I will put this HR here. So the HR will be available, the horizontal row will be available only for last row. But that is not the functionality what we needed right now. We have to remove the row from the last. Okay, so let's check this once and then we will revert back the functionality as per our requirement. Okay, so you will notice the HR is on last row right now. But as we have to remove it from the last row, so we will just do if false. Okay, and the same way guys, you can simply uh, do it like div if true i mean if you would like to add some special behavior on the first row so you can just simply do it dot first okay um let's add something on the first row as well so let's say what should we add here mm -hmm. maybe we can add a horizontal line but with a different color so we can do it like this we can create a div tag and let's put a border uh, let's make it five pixels solid and color let's keep it black so this will be only for the first row so here it indicates if true if it is first row then displays border Otherwise, display the text, whatever it is. If it is the last row, then uh, if it is the last row, then remove the HR. Okay. Or if it is not the last row, then show the HR. I mean, whatever it is, the functionality will be similar. So let me just push it to the org. Okay. Let's refresh it and check the functionality yep so here if you'll notice this is our border for the first row only we are not having it in any other row for other rows we are having the normal data and in the last row if you'll notice the horizontal line is missing so guys that's how you can add the special behavior on the first or maybe the last row in your list okay so guys that is it for today and also i'll be having complete code on my blog which is salesforcebold.com so do check that out if you need the complete code and feel free to modify it okay and if you like today's videos guys uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching